Tonight, state lawmakers are speaking out against Governor McMaster's decision to opt out of the federal summer EBT program. Yeah, we contacted some state agencies about other resources that you can turn to this summer. News 19 Zoe Henry has those details tonight. Let the children eat first. It is wrong to take bread from the mouth of a child and send it to the dogs. South Carolina House and Senate Democrats gathered on Tuesday to respond to Governor McMaster's decision to opt out of the USDA's summer EBT program. The group of lawmakers say there is a bill that will be introduced looking to help existing food supplement programs in the state. I mentioned that we have actually a bill on the floor sit, uh, authored by a Republican Senator, Senator Katrina Sheely, that would expand the feeding program uh, to all kids in South Carolina. So we are already looking at other avenues statewide. While summer EBT won't be available this summer, students and parents can seek assistance from the USDA and Department of Education. Now one is the Summer Break Cafe. Now this is a program where nonprofit organizations can get involved. They can become sponsors. They can work on selecting sites in certain areas to kind of reach kids who, um, you know, may be looking for meals. The other program is the Seamless Summer Option, where lunchrooms in school districts across the state operate as they do during the school year. This program allows students to receive two meals a day. Summer 2023, about 3.2 million meals were served to students in South Carolina through the Summer Break Cafe and Seamless Summer Option programs. The Department of Education website explains where students can find resources near them. You can find that link on our website, WLTX.com. Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. The Department of Education is holding an information session this week for volunteers and potential sponsors. And childhood hunger is a major issue in our state. According to Harvest Hope, one in 10 of our neighbors faces hunger on a daily basis. That includes more than 100,000 children statewide. Data from the group Feeding America shows that 14.6% of kids in South Carolina face some type of food insecurity. And on Thursday, the State Education Department will host several information sessions for community partners interested in helping provide meals to students over the summer. The program called Summer Break Cafe makes sure that kids have access to healthy meals once school is out for the summer. Now, community partners who are interested will be reimbursed for meals provided at approved sites, and they'll also receive training and support. The first virtual information session is on January 18th from 10 until 12. Now, in order to sign up, you have to register online. You can find a link on our website. Just go to WLTX.com. And there's actually.